in the Bronx, New York, yeah, that's where I was born. Singing, dancing, day and night, and oh so strong. In the project, struggling through thick and thin. All I know is when I write, it comes with it. Hello, hello. You are tuned into the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson at MimiJohnson.net, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. I've got my teen arts reporter, Miss Jasmine Hi, Wells. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Good. How you feel about being the teen arts reporter? I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff to do <laughs> and opportunities. So I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm really excited. And, um... Now, we are in a uh, play together. The Carousel. Yeah. July 27th and 28th Mm -hmm. at the Baltzer Theater downtown. It's going to be nice. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Tell everybody a little bit about your uh, character. Whatchamacallit. (laughs) She is something. (laughs) She is a mess. She's a mess, but she doesn't want to admit she's a mess. Mm-hmm. So I think that's like a, I don't know, I don't know, but it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, she's, you know I have to work really hard and do like a lot of stuff that I didn't do the last play to make it better. Me too, Spider as well. Mm-hmm. Herbert, uh, Herbert Bowens, he stepped our game up, right? Yep. We're doing more choreography and um, more um, integration with yeah. our um, castmates. Yes. And uh, it, it, it's really amazing, though, and we're being challenged. We like which, being pushed. We yeah, like that. As, as, as creatives, we, we like challenges because once we know that we can do that, mm-hmm. then it's like, okay, give me something else to do on stage. I'm going yeah. handle it. <laughs> and we have to, like, dive deeper into our characters and mm-hmm. discover who we are and make it believable for everybody else. Yes. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. But I think I can. I know I can do it. Of we course can do you it. can. You're a triple yes. threat. Yes. And what you am I? Everything. You're just everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a triple threat. Everything. You're triple I'm threat. everything. Yes. I'm everything. Um. So look, we are um airing our pretty is pink show today where we are mm-hmm. going to yeah we're in pink yes. <laughs> where we're going to um discuss breast cancer awareness with michelle fox but before we do that we want to run down some of the shows that we have going on so we already talked about carousel july 27th and 28th now july 6th we're having a block party for a fundraiser yes at mark, mark Square. Squared. Yeah, studio. studio. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> and um, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. July sixth, yeah. and um, I want to. Is their first anniversary or second? Second, second anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, just log on to uh, Mark Square ATL marksquaredatl.com because we're going to be raising money for um, everything that we need for the production for Carousel. So it all kind of blends in together. I will be hosting the show. So I'm hoping that you can come on and host some of the show with me as well. That would be really nice. And it's a live event. It's going to be um, food and entertainment, um, a lot of fun kids stuff. Yeah. um, A lot of water. (laughs) And. and Oh, yeah, it's going to be hot. Yeah, it's going to be. be, mm -hmm, It's a block party. So it's it's going to be, but it's going to be really, really nice. And I'm looking forward to it. And that's that 4th of July weekend. Mm hmm. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to get some barbecuing going on. You know, I got to throw some chicken on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> I already told Carlotta I'm going to bring like two it. of my own chickens. <laughs> since I just throw me two whole chickens on the grill. <laughs> Everybody knows me. They know chicken. I love chicken. Anyway, um, okay, so then we have um, now. Oh, I just got to do. Um, a little shout out for June 9th for the Mistress Club. And it was really, really fascinating. That show was incredible. We had a great performance, a great turnout at the Roswell Cultural Arts Center this past mm-hmm. weekend. It was really, really good. Um, and everybody really enjoyed the the whole play, um, the reception, the VIP reception, um, red carpet. It was amazing. So we got to give a shout out to Tiffany Roberts and yeah. 
yes. her team and crew um, and my castmates for the Mistress Club. Gotta give a shout out to Game Face. How you doing, Aldra? Aldra in the house. Of course, Bird, who is our number <laughs> yes. one, number Bird, one fan. Always. Always. Him and Joan Cartwright, Diva JC, your mom, April. Yes. And it's a couple of other people that uh -huh, quite a few. Yeah. So we need it to be like it's like four or five or ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. It'll build up to yeah, like yeah. thirty-five thousand people we'll get, that we, we are gonna it. see. So that's what we're building we, yes, on. That's what we're aiming for. We yes. got that. <laughs> so um Game Face Media, yeah, I gotta give a shout out photography and video needs and also bird. Yes, the carousel does keep keep evolving it keeps yes. evolving all the time and creativity um, just everything about yes it. so look um the other thing that i wanted to mention was pink in the park at the brave stadium we're going to be um there with the arts reporter june 15th at turner mm -hmm. field at 4 p.m celebrating with mary k foundation and they raise money um, to fight domestic violence and mm -hmm. cancer research. So I'm really loving them. And also June 14th and 15th, Women Supporting Women with Kim Tume. And that's going to be um, at the, uh, oh no, you know what you do? Go to my Facebook um, because she changed the location i think it's the mm -hmm. indigo hotel she just changed it i didn't get a chance to write it down but women supporting women kim and it's t-u-m-e-y go to my facebook it's already there it's 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 on the slideshow here as well um but that address has changed it's the indigo hotel the arts reporter at gmail.com and just email me and I can get all that information to you. Anansi, what's a remix? Anansi. I play Itsy Bitsy. <laughs> I play Itsy yeah. Bitsy Spider. This is Spider Rolls. This keep on coming. This I know. I'm, I'm like, okay. You gotta but, love it. <laughs> <laughs> but my, um, uh, my character is different. I, I'm not, I don't really want to tell, but I did post it at Facebook. So my character, she is a spider that's stuck in the 70s. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so I've got the bell bottoms oh and the afro oh. <laughs> and the big giant um, disco earrings. You've got to see that. Yes. Now that is June 20, um, 7th, 28th, and 29th at Mark Square Studios. So all of that is being... Um, posted at my Facebook Mimi Space Johnson D-O-T-N-E-T Mimi Space Johnson D-O-T-N-E-T simply Mimi Johnson dot net spelled out <laughs> at Facebook I make it easy for y'all <laughs> so you know when people say I was trying to find you I'm like no you weren't no. you couldn't you no be excuse. trying to find me because no I'm, I'm, I'm accessible to people that I want to be accessible to <laughs> Now, you know, but um, I wanted to give a shout out to Love McNeil, June 27th through the 29th, Anansi, What's a Remix. Also, she's Steve, helping with the carousel, too. Uh-huh. So, yeah. She and her. Steve Moore, who is our photographer yeah. slash Evan in musical, in, in uh, Woman. Woman the Musical, slash Brother, Brother Man, Man and the Carousel, slash... See? Oh, Lord, there's more. Slash, yeah, I got it. You know what Tiffany Roberts was like? You need to be his PR. I'm like, I am his PR because um he oh, already nice. had wonderful talent. It's just that when he when we started hanging together and he started taking all these pictures and we kept and we became really really good friends on top of business. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, you need to go out for some of these roles. So he's yeah. an Anansi as well as one of the three blind mice and oh, Boar that's and Boar. Be. He plays a duo role. And that, a non C. That is gonna be Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna um see Steve in a couple of minutes. Um he's gonna come on with us so that we can discuss more about um breast cancer awareness. And um now June twenty second. I've got my wonderful director here, Angela Carswell. 
with Rimshot Urban Musical. Now, you know, most all of the productions that I do are for a purpose. Everything that I do is for a purpose. Yeah. Whether it's going to teach someone, raise money. Well, her platform is fighting human trafficking. Because right here, in, right in the backyard of where we live at our airport, it is the biggest hub in the nation for human trafficking, where they're snatching our children, say, 10 years old to your age, enslaving them, making them prostitutes, making them slaves in homes, making them drug, um, like maybe transporters. And then I also heard, which really, really breaks my heart, that already breaks my heart, but I also heard that they will sometimes take children and kill them and then use their organs to make money. No. So we have to stop human trafficking. Well, it's a very important topic, too, because, you know, people don't really think about it. And it's something that needs to be known and needs to be brought up. Mm -hmm. And you, you say, have you seen her? Have you seen him? A lot of times those people have been snatched and taken away from their families, taken away from their entire existence where people can never find them again and they're either human trafficked or they're killed for their body mm -hmm. parts. So Angela Carswell has created a situation where we can be more aware of human trafficking. And I really, really admire uh, this director because she is not only saying, hey, we gotta sell tickets, we gotta make money for our production, which of course mm -hmm. you know that is what it is. All castmates and people Every that are time. cast should sell tickets Every time. Um, to, to support the production, especially if you want to get paid. But she also, creates a situation for us to have a heart to be able to think about what's going on in this world with human trafficking so i was very pleased when she cast me to come on for her production and um she's an amazing woman and we're going to meet her in a little while Rimshot really Urban nice. Musical, really nice person. June 22nd at Fabra Faction Theater um, in Atlanta, Georgia. And also everything, as you know, is always posted at MimiJohnson.net where you are at my show dates. So click on that, my little can calendar comes up. Everything is there. Um, so with that being said, I think we plugged everything we needed to plug. Okay, go ahead and plug that because I love Minister Kendall One Richardson. Yes. We have the 7th Annual Christian Youth AIDS Walk. Mm -hmm. That's in Dallas, Texas on September 14th. And you can go to www.7thannualyouthaidswalk.webs.com. Yes. Very good thing to support. Yes, it there. is. Because... Um, if you read, I want you to go through some of this and let's see if we have enough time for you to read this before the end of the show. I want you to okay. read that before the end of the show. I need for people to know about the statistics of our young people that are contracting yeah. STDs and AIDS. It is horribly an epidemic. Wow. It's a yeah. horrible epidemic. Um, and and they're starting and people are getting AIDS starting at your age at 13, yeah, 14 13 years to 24. Old. Okay, so we're gonna read wow. that a little later on because I'm gonna give you that time. You mm -hmm. make sure that you say <clears throat> I need to face the facts. <laughs> yes. Don't you don't let me forget. So meanwhile, we're gonna go to a commercial break real quick. We'll be right back. You're logged on to the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. <laughs> on MimiJohnson.net, <laughs> we'll be right back. Mwah.
Yes, yes, yes. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. This is our Pretty is Pink. Hello. Hello. I have How you doing? Miss Nichelle Fox in the house with Fox's Trotters. How's everything right. going? Everything is going well. Good. No complaints. No complaints. Good. I have to introduce you to our teen arts reporter, Miss Jasmine Well. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. Good. Very well. Good. Nice to meet you. How okay. are things going? Oh, amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Good. 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 Amazing is good. Amazing yes, is indeed. always good. Yes. I missed you Saturday. But it was fine. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, we had our first uh, event for the year. Yes. And it was a community vendor bazaar and a luncheon. And the vendors that we had were awesome. They were amazing. We mm -hmm. had treats. We had uh, Italian leather handbags. Mm -hmm. We had um, Caribbean food, which was <laughs> yes, so they'll be at our next event, yes. and we had jewelry galore, of course we had Fox's Trotters, and then we had some of the community come out and participate and be a part of it, uh, make new connections, so it was great. Mm -hmm. Now wait a minute, before you go any further, brief everyone, people that don't know who you are, okay. just brief them very quickly. Very quickly. I am Nichelle. I am the team captain of Fox's Trotters. We are a team of walkers that participate in multiple events to support raising awareness for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And we host events throughout the year to raise awareness, raise funds. Um, we speak within the community to share information to different groups, organizations from little people, i.e. Girl Scouts, to yes. adults. So we are here to support, help the community and give as much information as we can in terms of what you can do in terms of self-breast check exams at yes. home getting your mammogram. We can also provide resources for you to inform you as to where you can go in your community, no matter where you are in the 50 states. Mm -hmm. um, that can provide services services for you, either at low cost or no cost or on a sliding scale. Mm -hmm. um, to go along with that, I just started a newsletter. Okay. So the newsletter will have information on upcoming events throughout the city. Uh, for our local communities in terms of what they can do, events that are related to breast cancer or cancer in general, okay. and information about you and some of your upcoming events. Yay. So we're trying to keep it flowing so then that way I don't have to bombard people with emails. I don't, I'm still going to overload Facebook, that's a given. <laughs> but the newsletters can be emailed to you, they can yes. be mailed to you, they will be posted so that you can see them and get the information. And of course it's going to ask you if you'd like to volunteer or make a donation, you can also do that via the newsletter, Facebook, or the website, any of those options. So we're just trying to streamline but still get the information out to the public. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm and I usually will do a post once a month I mean I'll keep posting it instead of doing all of these blasts all the time I just simply do a calendar of what I'm doing for the month and then I just blast that out along with my flyers because mm -hmm. I make a flyer for everything yes. <laughs> I love and I'm not even a graphics artist but I think I do <laughs> Pretty well. Yes. All I need is a picture and some text. There you go. That's, that's all it needs. That's all it needs. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. that's a good thing because you know when the the work that you're doing is so incredible and people need to know about this work. You have taught. We've. I think that we have been associates for almost two years now. Yes. And in those two years, I have constantly checked myself check to my breasts to make sure I have no lumps. Um, tell my, because I mentor a lot of younger people, mm -hmm. tell them to check themselves. The men, mm -hmm. we just found out, I mean, maybe we all didn't, but I just found out, Steve Moore and I and our team, that men can get breast cancer as yes. well. Mm -hmm. You have taught us so much. So when... Um, I bring you on the show and then I post about you and tell people about you. Most people already know about you. They, yes, that's, that's beautiful. That's and that's because you are a brander. You're constantly branding what it is that you're marketing. And that's a wonderful thing. 
So, um, okay, so now before I interrupted you, because I wanted people to know who you were first, yes. for those that didn't know, mm -hmm. then you were going to tell us something. You were telling us about your event. Yes. Okay. Um, um, I have to mention that uh, Kiwi Collectibles was also at the event. She does these amazing cards that are not for breast cancer uh, survivors and fighters alone. She does these cards that are for survivors, no matter what your struggle, your journey might be, wow. what type of cancer. They are so phenomenal, okay. and they're all hand done. I had to um, put her out there. Mm -hmm. We, I have scheduled our, back by popular demand, okay. our bra paint party. Oh, when is that? Um, the bra painting, I'm going to call it a workshop, is in August. It's August 10th, I believe. That's on a Saturday. And I'm checking for an alternate venue. I do have a venue, okay. but I'm looking for an alternate venue to hopefully involve more of the community from various parts of the city so okay. that everyone can come out and participate. Um, the tickets will be $10 and that will include all the materials that you need aside from a bra, but you can decorate them. So I'm telling everybody to create a spot in your home for your masterpiece. Because <laughs> everybody who makes one wants to keep it. And they're gorgeous. And it's for a great cause. I wear the one that you made. <laughs> I went to go and cover your event. I and mean, you can just go to the YouTube at the Arch Reporter and just put yes. it in the Shell Fox uh, bra painting. Yeah. And, um, and I wear it. It's my right size. It's so cute. It's pink with, with baby blue polka dots on. Oh. On it. Yes. Um, and she I, it's saw so it. cute. She fell in love with I was it. like, I gotta have that. Now, mind you, because of you, uh, Nairobi saw a bra. Yeah. That she wants. And um, from what we have left from the auction because okay. what we do is we try to auction off the bra yes. for people that want to donate them to raise additional funds. Um, I started to collaborate with another organization that is working. Um, for and with young girls in Haiti. So if at all you're not participating in the events and you'd just like to help out, mm -hmm. if you can donate pillowcases, definitely please do that. You can contact me on Facebook at Nichelle Fox or Fox's Trotters on Facebook if you'd like to donate pillowcases. And we are going okay. to um, send those over so they can um, make dresses yes. for the girls, the young girls. Yes. Um, I'm also in the process of working out a virtual walk. I don't have all the details, wow. but it will enable people that are not here or not physically able or because of time restrictions to participate in a walk that's not 60 miles, but it's like a mini marathon. So as soon as I have all of the details for that worked out, that's I'll fabulous. Be sure to share. Yes, I borrowed the idea from another three-day walker, and I fell in love with it. And I said, "This is awesome. This is great because different people can utilize the same format to reach those crowds, and they're following their public." Yes, so this is great. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about that. The virtual walk, so I can actually be at my laptop wherever I am in the world and I can walk, I can pay my registration fee mm -hmm. and then I can do the walk. Right. Well, it's virtual because you don't have to be with me to walk. You can walk wherever you are and you can break it up in chunks so you don't have to sit and do the whole thing. So a whole marathon is 26.2 miles. So if you chose to do a half marathon, which is 13.1, you could do that over a span of 30 to 45 days. Mm. So you might do two miles one day, a half a mile here, a half a mile here, and it will all add up. So I'm working out the particulars in terms of what the registration fee will get you um, for making the registration and being a participant, but also getting yourself up and getting active and yes. starting somewhere. Yes, because that's very important. I noticed for me, um, uh, in Carousel, we do a lot of moving, yeah. a lot of choreography, and a lot of people are like, wow, you you lost a lot of weight. Um, thank you, uh, <laughs> Herbert <laughs> Bowens. <laughs> thank you very much, because he keeps Spider moving. Like, I, yeah. if I squat one time a Spider for a minute, that's it. Other than that, I'm like moving. As we get older, we must 
move around. Yes. My knee will swell on me. My right knee will swell on me if I don't move for 24 hours and say I'm at home, which is very rare. Mm -hmm. But say I'm at home or I'm in my office or I I may take a break and take a day off. Yes, you're Mm -hmm. entitled. Yeah. (laughs) I'm learning that. I'm learning how to do that. My knee will swell up on me. Double. My knee will swell up. As soon as I'm moving around and I'm d- moving and I'm taking my walks and I'm uh, uh, going to rehearsals and I'm, she goes right back down again. Like, thank you very much for moving me around. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's my body telling me, thank you for moving yes. around. And so your virtual walk and the walks itself keeps us in shape. Um, helps our blood to keep moving and right. also raises awareness for breast cancer yes, awareness. Is. Because everywhere we walk, I encourage everyone to wear pink. Mm-hmm. And because pink is a color that's noticeable, it's associated with breast cancer. It's not the only color, but it's more yes. of a color that's noticeable. And that's why I encourage people to wear pink. Yeah. So I'm already starting my training and I have training walks and people that want to participate but are not here, they can still walk via the virtual walk. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to bring on new people that are not walking in the three day, but they want to start some kind of physical fitness. And walking is the easiest exercise in most instances. Right. And you know, you can start there and then begin to build and develop because yeah. you have to start somewhere. Sitting saying, I want to, I want to, Mm-mm. is not going to get it. You have to actually do it. Yes, indeed. And you can start small. Yes, indeed. You can start small. Yes, indeed. I love that. So I'm asking our viewers today that are watching mm-hmm. or listening, how many of you have checked your breast this week, this month? And today's only the 12th. So have you checked? I did. I did. did. Uh, Wendy did. Uh, Sally did. Happy birthday, okay. Sally. Her birthday Happy birthday, yesterday. Sally. Yes. We love so, you. If you haven't checked, it takes all of 10 minutes. Go in the bathroom, raise your arm, take care of the girls. Come back and say, I did it. I'm done. Right. That's it. If you haven't scheduled your mammogram, please make a phone call mm-hmm. and do that. It takes a minute to get in there make the appointment. Do you have a website that people can go to to look up for mammogram testing? It will be posted on Facebook. Okay. I have not put that out okay. there. Okay. But it will be posted and American Cancer Society is also another link that you can go to okay. because they have information on that as well. And what about women that cannot afford mammograms? They also provide um, services for you. Got it. American Cancer Society. Okay. If you live in Marietta or you don't, uh, Marietta through American Cancer Society will be hosting its second annual Marietta 5K walk run. Mm. That will be October 12th. Okay. Uh, You can find information about that on my um, Facebook page. I will be posting that this afternoon, this evening. Okay. Um, That's another... um, event that you can participate in they have survivors walkers children pets everybody comes out it's a really big thing and last year was their first time and they had a huge turnout so we're hoping that this year for the second year it will be even better oh yeah yes jazz anything you would like to ask michelle michelle or you know anything you go ahead what actually moved you to start this whole breast cancer movement like was it a sickness in the family or um No, and I get asked that a lot. Um, I've always been interested in women's issues. Breast cancer, uh, women in prison, and um, sexual assault. Mm -hmm. And breast cancer just kind of became the dominant one. I'm still interested Mm -hmm. in the others, but breast cancer became more dominant. And then as I started doing smaller walks, um, I would find more people that had been diagnosed with breast cancer and Mm -hmm. after i relocated to atlanta it was one person then another person then another person so the stats are one in eight women you know will receive a diagnosis i've already exceeded that because more than eight women i know have received the diagnosis so it's become something that i've done and in the course of me doing that i found out my godmother had a diagnosis She's had a double mastectomy, and she's a four-year survivor. So, you know, five years they give you to be free and clear. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. Everything goes good. But outside of that, it wasn't anything that was directly connected to me. Mm -hmm. It was just my 
my drive. Um, it was something that I thought needed to be addressed and it needed to be brought to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as an individual, I just do as much as I can to get it out there and deal with um, those individuals that want to share. And I encourage them to share. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. That's really it. That's you also I mean. have your book. Yes, um, my book is called Notes Along My Journey, and I wrote that from the perspective of a walker mm -hmm. that is making this journey um, during the three day 60. And from all of the women that I've listened to who have been brave enough to share their stories with me because it is a personal journey. It is. So it takes a lot for a person to sit and talk with you and they don't know you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a great honor for me mm -hmm. that they um, let me into that personal corner in their world. So the book has poems, inspirational uh, messages that are motivators, things that from my perspective emulate how they feel mm -hmm. from the anger, the disappointment, the disgust, the fear, all of those things are what I've hoped to portray in the book. So that's what's in there. And I'm working on my second book. Mm -hmm. Wow. What's it going to be called? Oh, you don't want to disclose that yet? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Well, I'm you know, you, but, but you know, I'll be promoting it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Any, anything else you would like to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beth is in the house. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna come back with Beth Goodman. Um, any um, anything else you'd like to say? Cause we're gonna have um, Miss Angela Carswell come on and talk about rim shot with Steve Moore, and then we're gonna bring you back in a little bit. So anything okay. else you want to say, real quick? I just want everybody to chat with us and let us know that you've checked your breast mm -hmm. and that you scheduled your mammogram. That's what's most important to me tonight. Okay. Good. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Me too. What about you, Jazz? I just want to say everybody stay aware and be alert and even if you're young don't think that that's not for you it applies to everyone so get checked that's yes right. well you heard it here pretty is pink all day <laughs> yes <laughs> on the arts reporter your arts reporter where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories we'll be right back right after these messages mm -hmm. Mwah. Every time I'm with you 
scares you you prefer the single life just give me all your money honey i don't need to be your wife treat me right my baby loves me call me up on the phone my baby loves me he called me on the telephone music Yes, indeed. Hey, y'all. You're tuned into the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. And MimiJohnson.net, every Wednesday, it goes down right here, 7 p.m. Hey, Mimi. Miss Angela Carswell. Y'all know I talk about her a lot. <laughs> Rimshot Urban Musical, my family. Rimshotproduction.com. You're always hearing it here. But, you know, and you see her from every time, you know, before, right before we get ready to do a show. Uh, I always got to grab you in and reel you in and be like, come on, come on the show. Because you are such a... An amazing woman, um, first of all, director, mother, entrepreneur. Um, I mean, you know, and people say to me all the time, how do you do all of that? And then I'm like, because I hang around people that do uh, all of that. I see. Oh, well, thank you. You Mimi. see what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Now, really how do. are you feeling right now about our t June 22nd show? I'm over the moon. Yes. The play has evolved to a level to where it's just incredible. Yes. You know, the choreography has ramped up, okay. the artistry, the language, we've gotten bolder in the way that we deliver the story. Okay. It is thought provoking and memorable and important. Yes. Important work. Yes. It and it is important work. And mm -hmm. um you met a young lady. Tell us the young lady's name that you interviewed one day to inspire you to be an activist for um, human trafficking. I'm go right here on camera. Yes. Chong Kim. Yes. This is your fault. Chong Kim actually came on our radio program when we had ATL radio. Mm -hmm. I, I listened she, to it. Oh. And she gave a powerful rendition of exactly what it was that happened to her. Mm -hmm. And what really bothered me more than anything else is that Chong was coerced into human trafficking by somebody that she loved and trusted. Mm -hmm. She was underage and she was commercially and sexually exploited, mm -hmm. sold, and folded into this lifestyle for years. Mm -hmm. She is now a victor. She has completely changed her life. Um, she is a woman of God. She is a speaker. She's written a book. There's a movie out now about her life story, full length feature called Eden about her story. It is a remarkable wow. journey that she's been on and I applaud her and Chong knows that I absolutely love her and she's inspired this in me. Yeah. What really got me was that when she wanted to speak out through the media about her story, she was turned down numerous times before she hit me. Hmm. And no one else wanted to talk about it. They said, oh, that's too heavy. It's too, oh, no one's going to want to be involved in that story. Really? Exactly. And when she came to me, I was all for it. Yes, of course you can come on the show and tell your story. And I promise you, I haven't been able to rest since. No, you haven't. You made a whole play about it. Absolutely. You created a whole production Absolutely. about it that we have performed several times, mm -hmm. many, many times mm -hmm. in from last year to this, from November of last year to today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just must say that it's influenced me to become more aware of human trafficking because my house is 15 minutes away from right. the airport. It happens all around us. Right in my backyard. You know what's really in interesting about this whole human trafficking thing? It happens more so north of the 285. Okay. A lot of times people think that this is an issue in the hood or it's got to be somewhere in Cambodia or it's got to be... People have these misconceptions. Huh. It happens more often in the Atlanta metropolitan area north of the 285. Okay. That's a very affluent area. Yes, it is. And the most... The, the instances of it happening come up most often when we have national conventions for politicians and major decision makers. Hmm. I hate to be the one to say it, but... I'm getting ready to say it. Go ahead, it's, say it. It's dead wrong, yes. first of all. And it's got to come to an abrupt end. Yes. The commercial and sexual exploitation of our children has to end instantly, like now. 
in our lifetime, we need to put an end to it. The one thing that we have, the one tool that we really need to use more than anything else is to bring awareness. The play is incredible in and on itself. Yes. But what impresses me more is now there's some 30 some odd people involved in the movement of Rimshot. Yes. Urban musical. And what I really, what, what I'm proud of more than anything else is that all of them in their own right have become activists. And now they're talking to their circle and yes. their sphere of influence about what's happening right here in our own backyard. It's got to come to an end. My goal personally is to hit all 14 major cities in the United States okay. that have been identified as hubs for this and land in their market mm. and do this production right there in their market and wash them over with the idea that, hey, yes, we have an amazing play, but it's opportunities like tonight to where I have an opportunity to speak out to your audience now and get them aware that this is even a problem. Now, we are... Um Invited to Washington, D.C. Yes. <laughs> uh, you are just amazing. You, thank you. Stop playing. <laughs> Let me tell you what I did real quick. Real quick. When we go to D.C., mm -hmm. I decided to leave there to go to New York since I'm halfway there to do my audition tour for On and Off Broadway. Oh! You inspired me to keep on moving up to go and do my audition Thank for you. Off Broadway and On Broadway. Oh, wow. I said, well, I'm going to be already wow. halfway there with Miss Angela Carr as well. I might as well keep rolling. Oh, I'm honored that you'd say that. <laughs> now, SCLC, go. Yes. The Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Kay Bryant, the founder of the Atlanta Entertainment um, Awards. Yes. He's the one that introduced me to the first lady of the SLC. Her name is Kathleen Steele. And yes. she has her own program within the SCLC called Justice for Girls. And guess what the topic is? Mm. Human trafficking, awareness, prevention, and education. I had an opportunity to sit mm. down with her, met up with her. She and I bonded instantly. And very, as a matter of fact, she says, you know, we have the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s March on Washington this year. That is... Our national huge. convention is in D.C. in August. Can you bring the play and show the play so that way we can get away from all these symposiums and panel discussions and do the play as a way, as a tool to educate <laughs> people about the epidemic? I'm sitting here looking at her like this. <laughs> like, really? Go you want us to bring the play to the march That's on Washington? That's amazing. That's it's, amazing. It's that God. is so huge. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I have been telling people about this, you know, in my inner circle. Mm -hmm. And all they could say is, Mimi, yeah, it's it's the most high. Um, moving us. Moving us. And you, 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 as the spearhead, have so much responsibility because you got to take Thank care you. of us all the way along the way, just like we got to take care of you. Right. But you have to take care of us. And I'm going to tell you something. When you told me that, because I was booked on June 22nd, but they pushed the show to July. Right. Again. And I said, God. I get to be with my Rimshot family and yes. I get to... Uh, uh, um, but before that, you were like, don't worry about it, because guess what? We're going to D.C. And then when I called you back, see, everything works out. Mm -hmm. It works out so well. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing. I just want you to just express for about two minutes yeah. about the SCLC 50th anniversary where we have been invited yes. Yes. to perform mm. live for the 50th anniversary, that's huge in D.C. As I hear it, as you repeat it to me, it's still very surreal. Mm -hmm. Kathleen Steele, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. Yes. More so than anything else that I could have ever imagined in my limited way of thinking. Because yes. at the end of the day, I'm just trying to go day by day. Yes. And to know that she has so much respect for a play she's yet to see just off of what she's heard yes. about the amazing level of talent, you included. Thank All you. Of, I mean, it is a phenomenal story. Yes, it is. To be able to bring that. You know, we're casted with, let me say this, this is a side note. We're fully casted with an amazing diverse cast, mm -hmm. but the body, the principles in this play are in the age category that girls are most often targeted okay 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 and so when i look at these young girls and i think about the innocence 
I'm talking about 11 to 14 is when they usually try to get them. Yes. And again, one other thing, it's sometimes by people that they know and love. It's not a hooded character somewhere in the cut lurking that just snatches kids. Sometimes it's people that they know and trust. Mm -hmm. Where we go, the direction that we go in in the play is we talk about how in the entertainment industry. Yes. Young girls are oftentimes manipulated and misused and objectified for their body and whatever else and through their lyrics and the lewdness mm -hmm. of it all in order to be relevant in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a problem with that, too. Yes, I have a big problem yes, with that. I have a huge ways, problem with that. That evolves around to a very similar situation to human trafficking, of and course. it really runs a parallel. Of course, of course. That's where we go in the play. Mm -hmm. No one else is talking about it. I said, at some point, we need to say something about it. Somebody yes. has to have the courage to say it. And if the SCLC is on board with us saying it, then it's a message clearly that needs to be heard. Yes, indeed. Well, they're on board. They are absolutely on board. Because they hooked up with you now, honey. And I'm so glad that you cast me. I don't know what to do. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> they nothing. They'll be there on the 22nd. They'll be there on the 22nd representing. We've invited um, the World Chamber of Commerce. We have the uh, humanitarian chair yes. as well as the... What what is what is Deborah Clark the environmental chair? Oh, I love Miss yes. Deborah Clark. Senator Donzella James has been formally yes. invited. Um, Deborah Clark, the yes. environmental chair for the for the World Chamber of Commerce. We also have Terry Moore. He's a very prolific uh, in a uh, media professional. Yes, he'll be speaking he out as well. He was on here. He was on the Arts Reporter. Love yes. love Terry Moore. Uh -huh. We also have um, I just lost my train of thought of somebody else really major. Oh, charge it to my head, not my heart. It's gonna come to me in a it's second. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Let um let Steve Moore um say a little bit about Rimshot um production because he um has come with me to a couple of um rehearsals and uh, uh shows and we were yeah, making so yeah the first show that you guys put on then again at the uh Atlantis to the music, mm -hmm. and then we did our little caravan up to Macon. Yes. Macon at the historic if, Douglas uh, Theater. That was cool. You haven't seen this production. You really need to come see this. Mm -hmm. If you have teenage children, bring them with you. Yes. Especially if you have teenage children that want to be uh, aspiring rap artists or or entertainers. Let, period. Entertainers, yes. Yeah, period. But let them see this production. Mm -hmm. And so they can really see that it's not that easy. It's not glamour and glitz. There are a lot of things that are hidden mm -hmm. that come out when mommy's not there with you. Mm -hmm. You're not protected. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of our parents that have talented children, they gaze more at the big checks mm. come on than now. they do at mm. the protection of their own children. Yeah. And to me, that's you pimping your own child. Like yes. you said, it's always... Mm -hmm. People that are close to you. In other countries, it's usually family members mm -hmm. that are selling these children to come to America with the dream of having a better life. But when they get here, there is something totally different. Right. But bring them out to see Rimshot. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. You'll love the music. You'll love the stage set. You'll love the audience. <laughs> you'll love the cast. Yes. I mean, it's always a blast after the show. So come on and check out Rimshot. Mm -hmm. And that's Thank June you. 22nd mm -hmm. at Fabrifaction Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. Give everyone the address real quick. It's 999 Brady Avenue. We have two shows, 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And if I can take a moment and introduce Megan Green. Yes. Hey, Megan. Hi. <laughs> okay, so God just dropped her in our lap. Just boom. Just here you go. A long time ago, <laughs> yes. back in November, and she goes to Troy University, okay. theater and broadcast major, yes. and she has been instrumental in a lot of the behind the scenes and administrative Good. work. She's our summer yes. intern, but I'm I say she's more excited. like a partner of ours because she's <laughs> been you. widely instrumental. Yeah, how you feel about being a part of Rimshot or Ur Rimshot Urban Musical? Um extremely honored i'm excited when i met angela and reggie back in november and they just reached out to me and informed me about the musical and the cause mm -hmm. i just fell in love i had to leave my school and come like see the production for yes. weekend on, in january and i just fell in love with the cause and now i'm here for the whole summer so good well we so welcome excited. you aboard um the rimshot family we are always 
loving our because they embraced me the same way when I came in as a new cat as a new castmate and every or or team member. So everyone that Angela brings in, we all love or oh, just love on oh, each other. Love. We all love on <laughs> each other because we all bring so much to the table to help with this cause. Mm -hmm. It's such a um epidemic that is almost deadly yeah and um because we're dealing with our young children right. and these are the people that we need to help to when i get you know 70 80 years old <laughs> i need successors yeah you need successors Absolutely. you'll need successors everyone needs Absolutely. we need the younger generation to be mentally and physically prepared and if they're going through all of this how can they help society in any kind exactly. of way if they are uh, destroyed mentally and physically? So this is a great cause. I got to bring um, Beth and Nichelle Fox back. So I want to give you any last words yeah. and, of encouragement. Mm. Um, plug the your website. Plug the show yes, again. Yes. Rimshotproduction.com. Go out to our website, check us out. You can also go to rimshotfoundation.org because we are now officially a foundation. So we're a nonprofit and we operate in that Great. way. We are very close connected to wellspringliving.org, which is another major organization. We will be at the Faber Faction Theater at 999 Brady Avenue on June 22nd at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. The tickets are $20. Mm -hmm. You will be wowed by this production it is phenomenal mm -hmm. i can't take any credit you won't see me on stage at all but you do see certain people on stage <laughs> and when i tell you you gonna love it because it's yes. so diverse we have harpists and violinists yes. and singers and dancers and spoken word artists and hip-hop artists the it's crazy is that. yes all exactly the yes. soul stringer joanna yes. johnson oh Special yeah Shout -out. yeah lyrica holmes i mean we have some very noteworthy artists in the production and guess what you are going to as a byproduct get more of an opportunity to understand about the epidemic of human trafficking mm -hmm. so yeah. for your tickets you either um, email me at the arts reporter at gmail.com we have tickets available or go to uh, rimshotproduction.com mm -hmm. Or where else can they get their tickets? They can also go out to rimshotproductionatl.brownpapertickets.com okay. and you can get them in advance. I strongly encourage it. Mm -hmm. We do have a box office on the day of, but I'd hate for you to get all the way down there and can't get in. So please right. go ahead and get your tickets in advance. If you look through our cast roll call and see anybody that you recognize, every cast member has their own set of tickets. So please go through them to get your tickets in advance and okay. you'll know for sure you have a seat. Oh, okay. You set that up. I like that. Yeah. You know what? You. <laughs> this is an amazing woman. This is why I always say birds of a feather flock together because um, Nichelle Fox, uh, Beth Goodman, you know, with our cancer awareness, breast cancer awareness, you with the human trafficking, um, Vita Brown and um, Tamiko Lowry with domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just working with you women helps me to understand that I have yeah. a purpose in media. And my yeah. purpose is to build a platform where I can just put you out there and you just say it. And we thank you. And then we put it out there and it gets broadcast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And thank you for that. And even for iPhones and iPods or pads, it goes straight to YouTube in a little while. There it so is. So you can, you don't even need Flash. So, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. We're making exactly. it easy for people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rimshot Production, you will see me starring as Mimi Johnson and my voice over as Vaughn. Yeah. Ooh, Vaughn. Ooh, yes. the evil Vaughn. Yeah. That's okay. I know how I could be evil, too, but only in acting. <laughs> only in acting. And also, I play an old lady. Yes, yes, you do. You do. You Why do. You give that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, well, you. No one knew. No, but I want them to know it's me. I'm Cass. It's me. I'm the old lady. I want people to know that they'd be like, oh, God, it. she plays that role good. Yes, yeah, she does. There's no question. June 22nd, Faber Faction. We'll see you there. Rimshot Urban Musical. Log on to rimshotproduction.com or rimshotfoundation.org.
Angela Cry as well. We love you so much. We'll be right back right after these messages. You're logged on to the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, <laughs> where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Mwah. Be Ta -ta. right back. cdbaby.com Mimi Johnson yes. gotta plug that woman yes. CD yes. yeah the woman yes. CD is hot do yes, you have woman's Angela yep I sure do okay yes, yes. Six, six. and she ain't gonna break hers yeah. but that's cause I play oh. it all, all the time, time. <laughs> oh. Oh. I know it's all oh. 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 I know it's all thank you yes ma'am kingdom clothes yes ma'am we're all right. to clothe you in righteousness I love that. Yes. Where it's an honor to clothe you in righteousness. Absolutely. Let's um let's plug you. You have some events coming up. I do have some events. I'll be hosting the annual 2013 Hattitude Support the Fight Party. And what Hattitude is, it's a big hat brunch that takes place on June 30th. Uh, tickets are available at Hattitude.com. That's H A T hyphen T I T U D E. Dot com and basically it is coming together supporting the fight against all types of cancer the founder Jerika head has done an amazing job of getting together her mother um, passed away from bladder cancer and she just brings attention to all types of cancers and I will be serving as co-host with the Terry Bello okay. in addition I'm preparing for Broad Day USA which will be October 16th yes. and Broad Day USA BRA stands for Breast Reconstruction Awareness Okay. and it's something that came to the United States last year and I was selected to be one of the 
Patients of Courage for 2012 by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. And so this year, we're going to throw a big broad day event as I have been reconstruction and love it. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so we're just excited. We're just excited. We're also going to be launching a new line, a new brand under Kingdom Clothes. So you guys look out for it. Okay. Working on finishing up the book, Sprinkles for Everyday Living. Lots okay. of stuff has happened since nice. I've seen you. And um, wow. we're just going to live life in some wonderful shade of pink every day. Yes. Yes, indeed, and yes. keep in mind that Miss Beth is a breast cancer survivor. Uh, 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 okay, conqueror, mm. conqueror, conqueror, conqueror. conqueror. Yes, she me. conquered. Yes, so, with that being said, um, we don't have that much time with you today, but we already have our next show booked, yes. and y'all already know how it goes yes, down. It's, it's booked up until December. That's right. Um, so, where are we now? June, July, August, August. and August will yes. be our next, and then until. October. October, of yes. course. Right. Um, and so uh, we got to make sure that we, you know, get you on sooner. Absolutely. And I know this um, Atlanta traffic is crazy, but please plug your website one more time. Certainly, if you'll go to www.kingdomclothes.com, and that's clothes with the K. K-L-O-T-H-E-S dot com. We look forward to clothing you in righteousness. And we offer also private and customization and labeling for you if you have a concept or idea that you'd like to fling. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> Plug me, Nichelle. You can find us on uh, Fox and Stratus. We are on Facebook or Nichelle Fox. You can follow me via the blog, which is foxestratus.blogspot.com. You are welcome to share, comment, and enjoy. Mm-hmm. Miss Angela. Rimshot Production, June 22nd at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. at Atlantis Fabrifaction Theater. You got to come out and check it out. Human Trafficking Awareness. Mm-hmm. Mr. Steve Moore. Carousel and Anansi, Mark Square Theaters, and also Whitfield Moore Photography. The number's right there for your photography needs. Excellent prices. But please, by all means, go see Rimshot. Mm -hmm. $20 is not a lot of money to educate yourself and your children. Yes, That's indeed. Right. And you can just log on to where you are at, MimiJohnson.net, the triple threat. Log on every Wednesday right here for the Arts Reporter, Your Arts Reporter, and for all of my show dates. Um, all I have to say is that I am so blessed. My career is totally amazing. Mm -hmm. God is my booking agent yes. and my business Hi. manager. Okay, so when Shirt. people say, people say, do you have a manager? I'm like, mm-hmm, the most high, sitting up there booking me That's all the right. time, helping me keep my career in order as well. I'm looking so forward to our next show, June 22nd for Rimshot Urban Musical. That is the next show for Mimi Johnson.net and my castmates. I will be calling you and emailing you, and you will be purchasing tickets, or you will be <laughs> deleted from my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that simple. And those of you that have been deleted from my phone, my email, my Facebook, you know why. Because I have to move those people wow. out way to bring the other people in that are going to support wow. me wow. and my directors and the production. Absolutely. And you're not looking at my TV show. Right. You're not buying any tickets. Right. You're not buying my CD. What are you doing? Wow. You're not bringing me no chicken. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you are not doing anything that I need for you to do for me. So chicken we need cupcakes. the support. Steve Moore needs the support. You know, Beth, you need the support. We all need the Absolutely. support. Yes, we do. Or you have to move those people out of the way to bring other people Absolutely. in. Okay, because there are people that want to support us. Yes. But we're so bombarded with people that we think we need to keep. No, well, I, I know how to let go. <laughs> Every person has a time, a reason, and a, a season. season. Yes, ma'am. Right. And yes, it's just do. time for you to determine when their time is up, what their reason was, and if their season is up. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. So with that being said, we're going to sprinkle this on you. One, three, tartar. One, two, three, tartar. -tar.